Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my Boca Raton office uh, filming live. Um, I'm in the pre-op or pre-appointment, uh, uh, scheduled appointment today. I want to go over the all-ceramic three-quarter veneer case that I presented earlier with preparations on tooth numbers 6 uh, through 11. 6, 8, 9, and 11 are respectively have received the three-quarter crown preparations. Um, this is now the finished ceramic work uh, with all the details uh, that are representing um, this case. And uh, glazed uh, Emax crowns and uh, three-quarter veneers. The, uh, as you recall earlier, the case uh, started with uh, severe wear um, a lot of uh, space in between the teeth and also discolored teeth. So this was a uh, original model, actually a duplication of an mo original model. Um, the backs of the teeth, uh, we were looking at the occlusal scheme and, and what we could work out um, to, uh, to keep her comfortable through treatment. The other thing that we did was we copied that through a incisal edge or incisal guide table. Uh, this actually copies the anterior guidance of the case. So we're taking time to really develop this and not deviate uh, from her bite at all. The other thing is um, her lower anterior has had some recession and we actually filled those back in. So today on the second video I'm going to try to show you what we've done on these lower anteriors and also I will film uh, part of these uh, going in the mouth today. I won't be able to film all of it, but I'll film some of it so that you can see um, how things are cemented. I'm going to use something called Reliac Cement Ultimate, which um, bonds really well. We'll do the two centrals first, then the lateral canine, lateral canine, check the bite, and then maybe do a final video with everything in place. So three-quarter veneers, we'll try them in, and then we have to etch the internal aspect and also silane the internal aspect of of each one of these uh, restorations before they they go out uh, in the mouth. So right now they're in, they're they're not cleaned up uh, and ready for bonding yet. We still have to try them in. So stay tuned. We'll uh, be able to uh, to go over this case a little bit more with you. I'm using a microscope uh, all the way through this case. Um, you know, I think microscopes are the you know the one instrument that I think every office should have available because they do take you to another level. Um, there was a uh, a professor at Harvard Dental School that inquired about the camera and really liked the whole concept. Uh, and so uh, you know, so we're reaching out to other uh, universities and dental schools throughout the U.S. with regard to microscope use. Um, our laboratory here in Deerfield Beach did a nice job with glazing and contouring so you know we, we like to to be able to go from here to here you know closing all the spaces certainly and not make the teeth look so square but give it some round corners and round edges near the um, incisal edge. Um, try to show you that here and so and develop uh, some lobe anatomy too as well both in the centrals as well as the lateral incisors and then add a little characterization maybe some white check lines in there that help with uh, deliver the uh, the final 3D look here so we've got some horizontal imbrication lines as well uh, toward the cervical and uh, some really nice embrasures so um, we're pretty excited. She loved the the bis trying, and now I think she'll really enjoy these uh, to be put in permanently for her. And uh, <coughs> all the occlusal scheme again worked out well in advance, both not only uh, in the temporization but also initially in this custom guide table. So important to make these and keep it with the case. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo here in Boca Raton. Thank you for watching um, this all ceramic. Emax from 6 to 11 and we'll be right back uh, with you shortly to pick this up clinically live in the mouth. Take care and we'll talk to you soon.